Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 2.3 modulus argument form of complex numbers. 2.3 represents chapter 2, section 3 of the Corpio 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider a complex number z. Let the modulus of z equal r and let the argument of z equal theta. Here is my argand diagram. Here is the complex number z represented by the point x, y. r is the modulus of the complex number z and theta is the argument of the complex number z. Now x is given by r cos theta and y is given by r sin theta using Sokotoa. z is equal to x plus yi because it is represented by the point x, y. Now we can rewrite z equal x plus yi in the form r cos theta plus r sin theta i, replacing the x with r cos theta and the y with r sin theta. Notice that r is a common factor between these two terms. You can take out the common factor r and in bracket we've got cos theta plus sin theta i. The principal argument arg z lies in the interval arg z has to be more than minus pi but less than or equal to pi. Consider two distinct complex numbers z1 and z2. The modulus of z1 multiplied by z2 is given by the modulus of z1 multiplied by the modulus of z2. The argument of z1 multiplied by z2 is given by argument of z1 plus argument of z2. The modulus of z1 over z2 is given by the modulus of z1 over the modulus of z2. And finally, the argument of z1 over z2 is given by the argument of z1 minus the argument of z2. These are the key facts of 2.3 modulus argument form of complex numbers. I'll be implementing these key facts within one example and two exam style questions. Let's have a look at this example. Express z equal minus square root 3 plus i in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sin theta, where theta is more than minus pi but less than or equal to pi. Okay, so let's proceed with the solution. To find r, we have to take the modulus of z. So this is given by square root minus square root 3 squared plus 1 squared. This is equal to 2. Now theta is the argument of z. We know that the principal argument of z has to be more than minus pi but less than or equal to pi. Okay, so I'm going to draw an argand diagram. So here is my argand diagram. Real axis, imaginary axis. Zero radians, if I go anti-clockwise, this will be pi over 2 radians, and this will be pi radians. And if I go clockwise, this will be minus pi over 2 radians, and this will be minus pi radians. This is the origin. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the complex number minus square root 3 plus i. So minus square root 3 plus i will be somewhere here. That is the complex number z. As a coordinate, it will be minus square root 3 and 1. Okay, so the argument of z will be this angle here. Okay, so this is theta equal arg z. I want to work out theta. Let's call this angle here alpha. I am going to drop a perpendicular from the complex number z to the real axis. So I've created a right angle triangle. Here is my right angle triangle. This side over here is the positive of this negative x coordinate, so it will be square root 3. And this side over here will just be 1. Okay, so to work out tan alpha, I need to do opposite over adjacent. So here is my opposite, here is my adjacent. So tan alpha is equal to 1 over square root 3. To work out alpha, I take the tan inverse of 1 over square root 3. So alpha is equal to pi over 6. Now to work out theta, the argument of the complex number z, this angle over here, I need to do pi take away the alpha. So pi take away pi over 6. This will give me 5 pi over 6. Okay, so the complex number z, which is equal to minus square root 3 plus i, can be written in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. So it will just be 2 in bracket. 
we have cos 5 pi over 6 plus um, i sine 5 pi over 6. This completes the example. Here is an exam style question. The complex number z is such that the modulus of z is equal to 5 and arg z is equal to minus 4 pi over 3. Find z in the form a plus bi, where a and b are exact real numbers to be found. Let's have a look at the solution. Okay, so r is equal to the modulus of z, and in the question, the modulus of z is equal to 5. Theta is equal to the argument of z, and in the question, the argument of z is given by minus 4 pi over 3. Ladies and gents, we know that the principal argument of z satisfies the inequality minus pi is less than arg z, which is less than or equal pi. So the principal argument of z is one solution for the argument of z. This is the second solution. Okay, so don't get confused. The second solution can exist. Let me draw an argand diagram to make this more clear. So here is my argand diagram. I've got the real axis and I've got the imaginary axis. Zero. This one here is pi over two radians. This one is pi radians. Then we've got minus pi over two radians and minus pi radians. Since we're given that the argument of z is equal to minus four pi over three, the complex number z has to fall in the second quadrant. And minus four pi over three will look something like this. So minus four pi over three is equal to argument of z, which is equal to theta. Now this angle over here, for this one to be minus 4 pi over 3, this angle over here has to be pi over 3. Because minus pi minus pi over 3 will be minus 4 pi over 3. The principal argument is basically this angle here. That principal argument will be pi take away pi over 3, which is 2 pi over 3. That is your principal argument, which falls in this interval. Now, by definition, the argument of a complex number is basically the angle created between the complex number and the positive real axis. This is why there are two um, illustrations here. This can be the angle because that is the angle created between the complex number and the positive real axis. This can also be the angle. Why? Because this is the angle created between the complex number and the positive real axis. Now, if you were to take 2 pi over 3, or minus 4 pi over 3, you'll get the same answer. But I thought I'll go through this for your deeper understanding. Let's go back to the question. So the complex number z can be expressed in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. So now I'm going to substitute my values in. I've got 5 cos of minus 4 pi over 3 plus i sine of minus 4 pi over 3. So I can expand this. I've got 5 cos of minus 4 pi over 3 plus 5 sine minus 4 pi over 3 i. So if I put this into my calculator, I get minus 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 square root 3 i. Okay, so this is of the form a plus b i, where a is equal to minus 5 over 2 and b is equal to 5 over 2 square root 3. This completes the exam style question. Here is another exam style question. z is equal to minus 9 plus 3 square root 3i. Part a, express z in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta, where theta is more than minus pi but less than or equal to pi. Let's have a look at the solution. So we have part a, let r equal to the modulus of z, now the modulus of z is given by square root minus 9 squared plus 3 square root 3 squared. This is equal to 6 square root 3. Now let theta equal argument of z. I'm going to draw an argan diagram representing z in the argan diagram. So here is my argand diagram. I've got the real axis and I've got the imaginary axis. This is my center point which is the origin. Okay, so I've got zero radians here. If I go anti-clockwise, this is pi over two radians. 
and this is pi radians. If I go clockwise, this is minus pi over 2 radians, and this is minus pi radians. So the complex number z equal and minus 9 plus 3 square root 3i will fall in the second quadrant. And as a coordinate, we have minus 9, 3 square root 3. The argument of z is this angle over here. This is what I'm trying to calculate. Drop a perpendicular from the point z to the real axis. Create a right angle triangle. Let's call this alpha. So I've got a right angle triangle. Here's alpha. Here's 90 degrees. This side of the triangle is the positive x coordinate of minus 9. So it will just be 9. This part of the triangle is that y coordinate 3 square root 3. Okay, so we have that tan alpha is equal to opposite over adjacent. 3 square root 3 over 9. To work out alpha, I must take tan inverse of 3 square root 3 over 9. So alpha is equal to pi over 6. So the argument of z will just be pi take away the alpha, so pi take away pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 6. Okay, so z can be expressed in this form. It can also be expressed in this form. So we have r cos theta plus i sine theta in bracket. Substitute the values in. So I've got 6 square root 3 in bracket cos 5 pi over 6 plus i sine 5 pi over 6. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B, part 1 of the exam style question. Given that the modulus of w is equal to square root 3 and the argument of w is equal to 7 pi over 12, expressed in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta, where theta is more than minus pi but less than or equal to pi, part 1, which is the complex number w. Let's have a look at part 1. Okay, so let r equal to the modulus of w. So in the question, the modulus of w is equal to square root 3. Let theta equal to the argument of w. In the question, the argument of w is equal to 7 pi over 12. So the complex number w can be represented in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. So the complex number w, ladies and gents, will be square root 3 in bracket cos 7 pi over 12 plus i sine 7 pi over 12. This completes part B, part 1 of the exam style question. Moving on to part B, part 2 of the exam style question. So in part 2, we want to express ZW in the form R in bracket cos theta plus I sine theta. So let R equal to the modulus of ZW. Now the modulus of ZW is given by the modulus of Z multiplied by the modulus of W. The modulus of Z is equal to 6 square root 3. We multiply it by the modulus of W, which is equal to square root 3. This gives me 18. Now, let theta equal to the argument of ZW. Now, the argument of ZW is given by argument of Z plus argument of W. Okay, so we have that. The argument of Z is 5 pi over 6 plus the argument of W is 7 pi over 12. This gives me 17 pi over 12. Now, 17 pi over 12 is outside this interval for theta. So theta is the principal argument. This is not the principal argument. Let's find the principal argument of ZW. Here is my argand diagram. So the row axis and the imaginary axis. Here is the origin. So I've got zero radians. If I go anti-clockwise, this will be pi over two radians. This will be pi radians. And if I go clockwise, I've got minus pi over two radians and I've got minus pi radians. The complex number ZW will fall in the third quadrant. Why? Because the argument of ZW is 17 pi over 12. Here is the argument of ZW. 
which is 17 pi over 12. The principal argument of ZW will be this angle over here. Okay, this will be the principal argument of ZW. This angle over here created with the real axis is given by 17 pi over 12, take away pi, which gives me 5 pi over 12. So to work out the principal argument of ZW, I need to do a minus pi plus 5 pi over 12, which is minus 7 pi over 12. This is the angle that we need to accept. We need to reject this one over here. So we reject that and we've got theta, which is the principal argument of ZW, is minus 7 pi over 12. We accept this one. Okay, so the complex number ZW can be written in the form R in bracket cos theta plus I sine theta. So it will just be 18 in bracket cos minus 7 pi over 12 plus I sine minus 7 pi over 12. This completes part B, part 2 of the exam style question. And finally, moving on to part B, part 3 of the exam style question. So now we want to represent the complex number z over w in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay, so let r equal to the modulus of z over w. So the modulus of z over w is given by modulus of z divided by modulus of w. Okay, so we have 6 square root 3 divided by square root 3. This gives me 6. Let theta equal to the argument of z over w. Now the argument of z over w is given by argument of z take away the argument of w. So we have 5 pi over 6 take away 7 pi over 12. Ladies and gents, this gives me pi over 4. Okay, so we have that the complex number z over w can be written in the form r in bracket cos theta plus i sine theta. So it will just be 6 in bracket cos pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. This completes part b, part 3 of the exam style question and this teaching video 2.3 modulus argument form of complex numbers. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.